Hello my dream family and welcome back to yet another video. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Haley and I'm a lucid dreaming and out of body experience coach and I help people induce altered states of consciousness for life transformation and healing. And today I'm going to be reading three of your guys's lucid dream stories. If you're not a part of my Facebook group, Haley Lynn's Lucid Dream Team, I post in there a lot about different memes you guys can post that we can review on the channel, your lucid dream stories, people post questions, and there's tons of great stuff going on in there. So if you're not a part of the Facebook group and you want to connect to the community, head over to Haley Lynn's Lucid Dream Team. The description is also in the description. But I asked you guys on there to post your lucid dreaming stories, so I'm going to be reading three of your guys' lucid dream stories today, and the first one is from a community member named Rory. This was my most recent lucid dream. In the past, I have been unable to do things while lucid dreaming that don't seem possible. Recently, I became lucid and calmly thought, I'm going to walk through that wall. At first, I couldn't do it and bounced off the wall, but I tried again to really visualize myself walking through it, and it happened. It felt like coming up for air from a pool of water, and I did it for a ceiling and a few more walls after. It wasn't anything super monumental for most, but it was really big for me. This is amazing because this really highlights our subconscious limitations. You know, as soon as you imagine yourself doing it, and you feel what it feels like to actually do it, now you're able to actually do that in the lucid dream. And I think that also relates a lot to our experience in waking life. You know, like whether we believe that we can or we can't, we are right, regardless if we think that we can or we can't. And as I tell you guys all the time, we dream how we live. All of your limitations, all of your habits, the level of your awareness all gets carried over into the dream realm. So if you want to know what limitations you may be having in waking life, look to your dreams. When I first started this practice, I really wasn't able to I was always able to fly, but for some reason, like walking through walls and stuff took me a little bit to get. But that's also when I was moving through a lot of personal things in my waking life and working with my worthiness and actually stepping into my power. So it's interesting how that kind of correlated together because any limitations that we have in waking life will play out in the dream somehow. So for some reason, I do believe that those two were related, but this is different for everybody. When it comes to like things we can do in the lucid dream, it's a completely limited limitless state, but it's going to be different for each person based on what's going on in here. For example, I knew somebody that said it was super hard to fly and they were telling other people, probably don't even try to fly in your lucid dreams because it's not very easy. You know, they were speaking from their own experiences. And when I talked to this person, anytime they tried to fly, they would either come crashing down, they couldn't get off of the ground, or lucid dream characters would literally start pulling on their legs and dragging them to the ground. Now, of course, that is not the experience for everybody, but after him and I had a chat for a little bit and I recommended he try a couple things and also work on any limitations that he believes he has in waking life, for some reason it was now easier to fly. So we truly dream how we live. So I love that you experienced this, Rory, and I would definitely start pushing the limits with that, you know, in your lucid dreams. See if you can hold out your palm and literally create a ball of fire. See if you can go into the ocean and breathe. Like just try all of these things and just like how our waking life influences our dreams, once we break through limitations in our dreams, we will also break through limitations in waking life. So this is actually like a very spiritual concept, especially for personal development. So thank you so much for sharing that, Rory. I think that's super valuable and I definitely recommend that you guys play around with your lucid dreams to play around with what's possible and see what you actually subconsciously believe. That, that will show you a lot by messing around with this in the lucid dream. This next lucid dream story is from a community member named Jason. I actually met my grandfather, closest relative I've had in my youth. He told me that he sees everything. He said his wife, my Nana, is also there with him. So I visited my Nana as well and asked her several questions that only she would know and she answered every single question correctly. I said, is it really you? And she replied, yes, it's me and I've been watching you ever since I transitioned. Blew me away. Could just be my subconscious, but I believe it was my actual grandparents connecting with me through my lucid dreams. Keep up the great work, Kaylee. You're a trailblazer. 
Thank you so much, Jason, for the kind words, and I'm so happy that you experienced that because visitations is like a whole other realm of what we can experience in our lucid dreams and even our out-of-body experiences. I believe that if we experience a family member or a loved one that comes into our dream, that is a visitation. Sometimes if we try to, you know, immediately manifest, you know, a loved one or a past family member, maybe then they could be sometimes considered a dream character but i believe that everything we experience in the lucid dream is for a reason and because of the way your experience sounds this was for sure a visitation and a lot of visitation dreams will actually be like super super realistic that's also how you can kind of um tell them apart from like a regular dream or a visitation is the visitations will be very strong they will be very powerful and you will have extremely amazing dream recall usually when you wake up there's some people that haven't remembered dreams in over like 15 years but then they have a dream or they dream of a loved one that's passed you know out of nowhere so if you're meant to remember it your subconscious mind will make you remember whatever you're supposed to remember so this was for sure a visitation and visitations don't have to be random either we can actually induce them and that's one of the master classes that i'm running coming up in the dreams of series and it's called dreams of visitations where we dive all into visitations how to induce these dreams and how to make the most of them when they spontaneously happen and what a comforting thing right guys like to be able to connect with loved ones who have crossed over and go on the most amazing adventures with your loved ones that you may have never been able to do in waking life like some of my family members that have crossed over even some of my dogs that have passed away when i was little i have had crazy lucid dreams with them flying going to this temple in the clouds like going for like sky tea parties i have this thing with alice in wonderland but every single time i have a tea party in my dreams it is literally in the clouds it is the most dreamy thing ever and i have had a tea party with one of my past loved ones as well as some of my dogs that have passed away and it has just been the most beautiful incredible experience so thank you so much for sharing this jason and definitely keep us updated in the lucid dream team group if you have any more experiences like this because i would love to hear about them and this last lucid dream story is from a community member also named jason i actually triggered my first lucid dream during a meditation i remember seeing this weird looking street pole in the dream then i was able to change the shape of it to confirm that i was dreaming in the next dream, I was playing this weird Mario-like platformer in the dream, but I knew that I was sitting in my chair meditating in the waking world and I was in full control of this little game in my dream. I had my character jumping around collecting these floating fish in the air like how Mario collects coins. Then I remembered how Haley taught me how we can learn and improve in skills in the lucid state, so I tried to do something artistic, but then I was looking at a blank desk not knowing what to do. So I went back to the little game I was playing in my dream. Not too long after, something got me excited and I woke up. I swear there was more in the dream, but that's all I remember from my first ever lucid dream. That is seriously so amazing, and I've had lots of experiences kind of like that where I can't tell if I'm asleep or not. You know, it seems like you're almost just sitting there thinking, like for example, in meditation like you just said, and then all of a sudden a dream starts. And I've had these weird ones where I've been like sleeping in a weird position. I love to nap, I love to sleep, I can sleep anywhere, I can literally sleep anywhere at any time and I remember like a couple years ago I was like curled up with my knees up here and I was like sleeping on so like my knees were like this and I was like down like this sleeping if that even makes sense I was literally curled up in a ball and I remember just like sitting there thinking you can't again you can't tell if you're like asleep or not or you're just like thinking and like kind of on the edge of like wakefulness and sleep and then as all of a sudden i started to feel sleep paralysis and it was like super 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 heavy and then literally this lasted like two seconds because i got so startled because it literally just felt like i was closing my eyes and then a dream started it didn't feel like i was asleep at all i was like fully conscious so i guess you could say what we experienced jason was a version of the wild technique but I remember sleeping in that position, I started to feel, and it wasn't like gradual sleep paralysis, it literally like 
punched me in the face. It was like not there and then it was like very there. And then in that two, two seconds where I was experiencing sleep paralysis, I was literally, it was like a movie. You know how like when a movie starts or ends or something, you're, there's sometimes like a camera view above like the mountains or a lake and then, you know, all the credits are going and there's like music. It was literally like that minus the credits. Like it was just this like, um, this, what is it called? drone view it was literally a drone view of like mountains and there's like this frosted kind of lake and there was like really pretty music playing and it was like zooming in almost like it was something like cinematic and it was so shocking that i like jolted myself awake i didn't even know that i was you know sleeping apparently it's so crazy how the dream state works there's a very fine fine line between fully conscious and an altered state of consciousness even like when we're daydreaming we're pretty much in an altered state of consciousness or when we're anywhere in our mind aside from right here right now so there's so many different states that are considered al altered states of consciousness that a lot of people don't even think about and a lot of people think that they have to be in their bed and they have to wake up and do a technique to get lucid and this is a direct example that you can really be doing anything as long as you're in the right brain waves like if your brain waves are calmed down enough and you're in a very like kind of like hypnosis like state like very kind of focused but kind of like really relaxed at the same time maybe i'll have to do a video on that in the future so i can make it make more sense but that is the perfect state for lucid dreams as well and i love that you were like able to control kind of the game that you were playing in your lucid experience and then you try to do something creative and then it literally shows you like a blank desk to kind of represent not only a blank slate like anything is possible but also that there wasn't really a plan there which i totally understand because you were literally in meditation but this is also a reason why lucid dreaming planning is so 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 important because a lucid dream could happen anytime and with lucid dream planning you basically create a plan of the dream and you read it every single night before bed that will help you remember your dream plan and you literally read the same piece of paper every single night affirming your plan until it happens and then you write a new plan that's why i recommend that you guys have a lucid dream planning journal because you will need several pages again it's not going to be a new page every single night you're just going to write out your plan until you accomplish it and then you're going to write a new one and then read that paper every single night before bed so to prevent situations guys like this in the future where you want to do something but you're kind of like it's kind of blank you don't know what to do i'm glad that you were able though jason to go back to the game and you were able to make the most of your lucid dream but if you guys are ever in a situation where you do get lucid and you don't know what to do make sure that before this so maybe even tonight when you see this video make a lucid dream plan i do have a video on it i also do have a live video on it um i think i've done a few videos on it actually but there's this three-step lucid dreaming planning method three step lucid dream plan that i recommend doing um and this will make it so any lucid dream that you have you always have a plan regardless if lucid dreams catch you off guard but i'm if you if you feel like the dream is fading or you don't have a plan just go back to what you were doing like it's better to have like a longer lucid dream just like even going along with the dream than to try to do something different and creative but not being able to think of anything and then just waking up so um go with the dream when in doubt but also i definitely recommend that you guys have a lucid dream planning notebook because that has seriously saved me so 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 many times Thank you guys so much for sharing your lucid dream stories. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to hear more of your lucid dreaming stories. So please, guys, if you are a part of the Facebook community or you're not but you want to be, then head over to Haley Lynn's Lucid Dream Team and you can post any experiences that you want to in the group. And a lot of times I will make a specific post like leave your dream memes here for an upcoming video or leave your lucid dream stories here, whatever we decide to do. So any experiences that you want to, even any memes or whatever, you can post them at any time in the group. But when there is a video coming up where I will be reading these or reviewing things, then you can go ahead and leave it on that thread if you see it. I will want to at least do a series like this, like a lucid dreaming, like me reading your guys' lucid dream stories at least once or 
twice a month so you will see those posts upcoming in there and currently there is a thread in there where you can leave your dream memes we have so many memes in there already so it might be a longer video but if you have any memes over there that you would like me to review then you can go ahead and find that thread in the group and you can leave it there all right guys i love you so much thank you so much for tuning into this video it's such a pleasure to hang out with you guys any chance i get so thank you so much for joining me if you are not subscribed to this channel and you like the content i create make sure to hit that subscribe button because once we hit 10,000 subscribers i will be going live and releasing my brand new dreamy merch shop which i'm so excited about just to celebrate us hitting 10,000 community members in this lovely dream team which i'm so so thankful for and if you guys have any questions on how you can work with me i do offer courses one-on-one -on -one mentorships and workshops and classes you can find all of the links in the description below and of course, if you have any questions about my upcoming classes or even my current series, my Dreams Of series, it's an 11 part masterclass series that's going on for the next, the next 11 months, then definitely let me know and I'd love to answer any questions that you have. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for joining in this video. And as always, I'm sending you endless love and endless lucidity.